I mentioned yesterday that I'm going to try to flex this metal in such a way as to move the foundation in on this end at least a couple feet. I've been sort of scheming about it and I think the way I'm going to do it is put a series of post holes in and then move the foundation in one post hole at a time to prevent the foundation from sliding back when I take the bar out. So I'll put one in, then make another post hole a little bit closer to my destination, try to move the foundation in a little more. I've got the other side bolted to the anchors. I'm not sure if it's going to work. There is, I mean, I'm trying to overcome some pretty serious pressure here uh, and the habit of the metal over the last couple years to spread out. But I'm going to give it a shot because I really want to move this in a couple feet so that I can put my, my rows in where they're supposed to be. to move it in the whole side in at once but that's all right they're both going in anyway with the counterforce I was experiencing while trying to compress the foundation inward it occurred to me I should probably brace the middle of the other side as well the foundation is just a 2 by 8 and the forces acting on it are pushing against the lumber in its weakest dimension. It would be easy for the metal hoops to force the middle of the board to flex outward, away from the other side, as I put tremendous force on the middle hoops. Only long experience has shown me to take projects like this very slowly and to be observant throughout. In this case, that meant frequently checking the hoops, end walls, and foundation boards to make sure the strain on any and all was not so great that something was going to snap. In particular, the middle hoop of this small house is aftermarket, meaning I made it myself as a replacement when I cut the 48 foot original length into two hoop houses. The prefab original hoops are all single pipes. The homemade replacement is two. They are spliced together with a top rail coupling. This is the weakest point in the entire hoop house. In fact, the collapsed hoop house Michael and I just dismantled failed along the entire length at the same coupling on each hoop. Also of concern were the rocks I kept hitting with my bar.
Of all the steps necessary to complete this project, this was probably the most dangerous. Due to the way I designed this hoop house, the hoops are not actually connected to anything. They rest inside the larger diameter pipes that are bolted to the foundation board and ride on top of the bolt that holds that larger pipe to the foundation. Once the plastic is on, that will be more than sufficient to hold the hoops in place within the larger diameter pipe. However, pounding the foundation board toward the ground could have resulted in the hoop coming out of the larger pipe. With all of the outward facing force on this pipe, that could have been disastrous. I was aware of the possibility at the time and was watching for it. However, seeing it from this angle makes me realize I probably underestimated the danger. Luckily, the pipe stayed exactly where it was supposed to. really psyched that that worked out so well. Uh, I've got now my foundation is right where I want it to be. I can dig this walking path right up to the edge of the hoop house. Come here, Ziggs. Over here. Go get him with ya. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. I can dig my walking path right up to the hoop house and then start my next one where it's supposed to be. And there should be a full row outside the hoop house, so that is really awesome. I didn't break anything that I could see. And now the end wall fits with the piece of lumber that I have there already. So it's actually too long, so I'm going to be able to cut it exactly, describe it exactly to the shape of the hoop, which will make attaching it that much easier. So, so far, this project has gone really well. That very often is not the case, but uh, it certainly has worked out well in this case, so that's pretty awesome. Well, that doesn't look straight.
that, except for that poop house, which isn't even rebuilt yet, I have dug all walking paths for the 2018 garden, the food production garden. That is awesome. 